Knocked him over. Oh, not good. Grizzly, not part of the job. What do we got here? It's too clean to be one of the settlers. Or a pirate. You see on patrol, maybe? It'd make my day if you said you were a shock trooper out for a stroll. Vanguard, huh? Yeah, I expect they didn't. I'm Hadrian. I'm a... I was a researcher with the UC. I, I came here on a rumor of a... Well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. What's left of the settlers? The work of Oxisio Machina. A terramorph. One of the nastiest aliens humanity's ever crossed paths with. And this one, well, it's something of an anomaly. Possibly a worrying one. A terramorph here? That is very, very bad news. Makes two of us. But this creature... I need to understand what it's doing here. To do that requires a tissue sample from it, and to get a sample... I need its corpse. But we're not without resources. This plant... It's got an automated security system. Though getting things online, as I've discovered, is not a one-person job. The admin terminal in this building needs its connection reset. And to do that, someone has to get to the security outpost. Across the compound. Not a far walk, but a risky one. You think you might be willing to lend me a hand? The settlers outfitted most of the buildings with turrets at some point. Not sure how many are still operable, but at least a few appeared to be in fighting shape. There were also some sensors scattered around the facility that I didn't recognize. But those are honestly all just educated guesses until we get the connection reset. Good. Once I see the connection reset, I'll get things underway on my end. Take care of yourself out there. And make sure you leave enough of that thing for us to get a sample.
Construction restored. I'll make this quick. Hmm. Plant's turrets took a beating. But I should be able to get you a couple of kill lanes. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings, and you'll lead it right into a crossfire. Hello. Wish I'd found this earlier. Those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system. Should let you keep tabs on how close the Terramorph is. It's not connected to this network. There should be a terminal in the adjoining room. Tune it to 183.5. Trackers reading green. What's that sound? Security lockdown is active. Shit. Stop. Stop whatever you're doing and get in cover. It's on the move. Send all inquiries to dead and debtor attorneys and law.
installation has skills. This deserves a victory lap. Tracker's gone quiet. I suspect it's either hiding or... Wait. You did it, didn't you? <laughs> Essence above, you just flatlined a terror morph. I'm not too proud. Thank you for saving my ass. <laughs> you didn't happen to grab me a tissue sample, did you? All right. I spotted a microscope downstairs. Let's see if we can't get to the bottom of this. you can do. Running basic diagnostics? Nothing. Maybe a flag scan? No. Spectrograph. Damn. This equipment, it's not set up to do a proper analysis of our sample. But this terramorph being here, of all places, it doesn't make sense. Humanity's spread plenty of creatures in our travels across the stars. Pets, livestock, pests. But terramorphs? They're different. To our knowledge, no one's ever spread them intentionally. Yet somehow, they follow us. She's right. Everyone's got theories about them, but no one has the answer. So when humans settle a world, 70 to 100 years later, Terramorphs tend to just appear. No one knows how or why. Dangerous, but at least predictable. Talcetti, though, it's too young to have a native population. It's only been colonized 20 years. But then the other option, that someone captured one of the deadliest predators in the galaxy just to wipe out some settlers minding their own business? That seems awfully implausible. Which means we're either looking at a truly strange murder or a faster type of terramorph growth, the results of which could be catastrophic. Terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies than this one. They have. They even took down an entire city once. A place called Londinian had to be quarantined due to a massive outbreak during the colony war. It's the only known loss of that scale, but it's the reason why any change in our relationship with these creatures needs to be taken very seriously. Well, they're not exactly buying tickets and flying coach. The theory is that they're spread by some kind of egg or seed that's able to evade our detection. But how the hell an undetectable egg turns into a terramorph without anyone noticing is a question no one's ever found an answer to. And it's why what's happened here could be real bad news for the rest of human civilization. You're right. We just need more information first. Time was, I had access to one of the best repositories of terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place to start looking. 
If I can figure how to access it. But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed. Get confirmation on just how concerned we should be. Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. What would you say to delivering this to him for me? Yeah, I'd do it myself, but I need to call in some favors. See if I can't get access to that Terramorph data. <sighs> Plus, maybe just pop by a hospital for a little bit. Clear it with your commander first if you have to. You can even show them this. My gene tag. Tell them Hadrian Sanan is worried there could be more attacks on the horizon. They should recognize the name. Oh, you don't understand what a weight off my shoulders that is. I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Full workup. He'll know what that means. I'm not sure exactly where to find him, but last I heard he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. There's a place called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia. Bar run by some old friends. I'll meet you and Percival there. And... here. It's not a lot, but you've definitely earned it. Should cover the cost of fuel to Mars, at least. Now please, go check in with your commander. We need to know what we're dealing with.
Would you look at that? <laughs> this place is something else. Look who's back. All set with that probationary mission? We can do your debrief and formally welcome you into the Vanguard whenever you're ready. A terror? What? How did you walk away with the terror morph tissue sample running comms repairs? What happened to the settlers? You killed a terror morph on your first mission. If I could be frank for a moment, holy shit. Above and beyond doesn't really begin to describe it now, does it? Earned yourself some serious hazard pay on this one. But, uh, if none of the settlers made it, who's got you delivering the sample? A researcher. Let me see that. Hmm, Sanan. I know that name. Let me check the database. Huh. A lot of this data's been classified. Here we go. Service record. Wow. That's a lot of commendations. Seems like she served with distinction as... Co-head of a UC Xeno Weapons Division. Faced tribunal at the end of the Colony War. And was dismissed from duty. Guess that's why I'd heard the name before. If she's former Xeno Warfare, though... Well, we can at least be sure she knows her aliens. I'm sure she doesn't list it at the top of her resume, but considering her service record and her area of expertise, I'm not seeing a reason to think this request is anything other than genuine. Did your survivor, Hadrian, does she mention why she thinks this sample is so special? She thinks there could be more of these? Well... This is one of the more surprising debriefs I've ever been a part of. But if Hadrian Sinan thinks this sample needs to get to Mars, then we're gonna make sure it gets to Mars. I'll take care of the clearances and ensure you get your credits. Consider these your first official orders. And here, so everyone knows you're working with the Vanguard. Welcome to the Navy, Captain. Vanguard's also got some custom ship modifications. You'll be cleared for access to them next time you're down at the spaceport. Talk to ship services. Now, if there wasn't anything else, I'd suggest you move out. Every time I get near mast, I think you're gonna arrest me. There's a crew there, get him, boys. This place is just dripping with that good old United Colonies flavor.
I'd hate to live my whole life in a bubble. But we still have Invoices can be collected from the... Oh. Not here for a delivery, are you? Do you know? Well, I do wish I could help you, Captain, but Dr. Walker has been missing for some time. A shame, too. We had such high hopes for Percival. I brought him on myself to do medical and biological consulting around the city. Not the sort of work the Trade Authority traditionally does. But we thought it had the potential to become a whole new type of revenue stream for our branch. I invested no small amount of personal capital into the endeavor. But then he decided to run off after a discipline issue. I presume the miners have him hidden somewhere. <laughs> Plenty of cracks on this old rock. But at this point, it's probably for the best. That won't be necessary. The Trade Authority isn't interested in employing someone so unreliable. But we would like the money he owes us. If you can convince him to pay his debts, we'd be most grateful. Aw, oh, someone owes you bloodthirsty leeches money? Oh, I'm sorry, that's rude of me. I should apologize for insulting the leeches. You want to help the Trade Authority? You know who these guys are, right? Wonderful. Voices can be collected from the... Oh. Do you know? A shame. Not the sort of work I invested. But then he... I presume them. But at this point, it's... That won't be necessary. But we would like... Ah, oh, someone owes you... I should apologize. Yeah, get your own damn money. Looks like you could use the exercise. Hmm. Pity. Perhaps a little advance on my part might pique your interest. Visit the Sixth Circle, a bar on the lowest level of the city. If someone in Sidonia knows where Percival is, you'll find them there. Spears upstairs. Go drown yourself there. This bar is for devil's vets and their kin.
Doc Walker? You're barking up the wrong... Andy, you, why don't you come here and tell me what some Vanguard captain wants with Walker? It's really, really hard not to stare into their eyes. Shit, I'm doing it again. Stray Topsider wanders into my bar, asking after a man like Percival Walker. Raises questions. What do you want with him? Quite, uh, quite the bold claim to make. But if you are actually willing to help Percival, well, I might be inclined to return the favor. A friend to one devil is a friend to us all. That's good to hear. Now, you want my opinion. The most straightforward way to take care of this debt would be to just saunter up to the authority and pay him direct. If you've got credits to throw away. Of course, rumor is the Trade Authority keeps all their records and collections files on a central server inside their storeroom. If someone was to break in there and adjust Percival's debt to something a little more reasonable, say a few hundred credits, I'd be happy to cover the costs. I mean, clearly that's a crime. And doing it would just be terrible. And, uh, one friend of Percival's to another. Sidonia's full of old utility tunnels and crawl spaces. Wouldn't be surprised if there was one that led out right into the authority storeroom. Say, with an entrance behind the bar at the Broken Spear. Ooh, and you might need these. Now, what say you get out there and help Dr. Walker? Hey, you. <clears throat> First of all, this my friend. Come here.
looking for anything in particular? Was there something else? Do you now? Let me take a look at his... Hmm, that's not the number I remember. Headquarters must have felt sorry for the old man. Here, his current balance. I expect this won't be a great hardship for you. Hmm, then I suppose that's that then. Dr. Walker's dead is officially no longer a problem. You have my thanks. Oh, and if you do find him, please let Percival know I'm eagerly looking forward to never working with him again. Yo, hey, what's up? I'm Monaki. Feel free to ask me anything and I'll do my best to help you out. Cool. Yo, stay good out there. you now. Fine work. My end of the bargain then, I suppose. He's holed up in the old Red Devils HQ. Place was sealed up tight after the UC shuttered our unit, but we snuck him in the back entrance through the deep mines. Good you're going in there, actually. Bunch of spacers moved in, not long after we got Percival set up. Don't expect he'd run out before they got taken care of, but I'm sure he'll appreciate not having to find out if I left him with enough rations. Here, the passkey. 
I'll let him know there's someone he owes one hell of a thank you on their way down.
right. Your thermometer ain't broken. We are so... Tip of the iceberg. You can bet there's more spacers ahead. You're probably behind, too. someone else. times.
That is a serious mining operation. I can't imagine. Explain to me why you're going around harassing nefarious old men by wiping away their hard-earned debts. Adrian sent you. She's... did... did she look okay? Sounds like Hadrian. Watch that woman lose a digit trying to get a better tissue sample. What? You can reattach a finger, Percy. So what exactly did she have you bring me? Hadrian said that, huh? If she made you come all the way for this... Let's get inside. I need to see these cells. Quick chat. I'd appreciate it when you're able. I must confess, the hum of a grab drive makes me feel alive. I, I'd, uh, I'd appreciate your advice. After our last talk, I, well, I just feel a little more at peace, a little more whole. Cora's grandpa, good old Jacob, well, he just will not stop pestering me to see Cora. And that's complicated. I mean, can you blame them? She's something else. But things with my dad. My early years, they uh, weren't good. My mother died when I was seven. Some people have such strong memories from their early life. Me, I mean, I remember her. I have some pictures. I remember the feelings, but just a few clear memories. Odd thought. I just <laughs> can't imagine what that would have been like. I'd probably be happier. Family might be tighter. Yeah, well. So, Jacob raised me on his own, and Shit, maybe I don't give him enough credit. I mean, I know how tough it is. But he was strict, hard. Dad was a longtime civil servant, a big man in governments. And he had a future all laid out for me. Man, could he get his hooks into you. He was scary good at that. You know me too well. But I tried. I felt the weight of legacy. I wanted to do him proud. He said I had to learn the business, run some freight, see how credits flow, speak the language. Meanwhile, he's working some angle for a government job for me after. That sounded even more miserable than what I was doing. I 
I know, right? Even after I was with the Rangers, Dad was just always kneeling, angling for me to join the government. But by then I knew myself more, and I could stand up to him. And Lillian, well, she helped. If I let Jacob into Cora's life, he'll dream up some big future for her and tie her into knots like he did with me. A man could teach a master class in manipulation. Yeah, but she's only 12 and... <laughs> well, I see what you did there. If I just flat out say no, I'm a hypocrite, right? <sighs> I guess I got more to think about. Gonna ask you to not touch anything. Got some projects in the works down here. And I wasn't expecting guests. Oh. And Lou mentioned how you took care of the debt. Managed to uh, negotiate it down to something more reasonable. Good to see someone give the trade authority a bit of their own medicine. All queued up. Let's gaze into this abyss, shall we? All right. Just get those cellular markers tagged. Wait. Where are the markers? This... this can't be right. This sample... it's... Londinian. I'll... I'll need to get this all in the slate. Adrian really gave you this sample. You're not lying to me? Because if you told me this was a hoax, and it'd be the best damn fake I've ever seen, I'd be mad and very, very relieved. Can't just humor an old man, huh? This sample, it's got all the indicators of the worst terramorph attack in human history. I presume you've heard of Londinian. It was. An entire city wiped off the map. The swarms are so bad, they had to blow the spaceport and seal the place off from the galaxy at large. Not a lot of samples made it off the world from the time of the attack. But the ones that did, well... They look just like this one. I didn't detect any of the telltale signatures this specimen ever sat on a ship while it was alive, either. I don't think it was transported to Talzetti. This specimen, it grew there. Faster than any Terramorph should. Which means, if we're about to start a new era in human Terramorph relations, where big, sudden Londinian-style attacks can happen outside Londinian, that's not gonna end well for humanity. That is the definition of an existential threat, dear lord. So, you lugged this bad omen all the way here. You want to tell me what your plans are for it now? The circle, huh? Could use a drink about now. Here, faster we take the lift to the surface. Not supposed to use it, but... Given the circumstances, I'm inclined to just ask forgiveness. Let's get going.
Is that really her? Hadrian. Percival. My god, look at you. You're an old man now. <laughs> you know hassling yourself anymore, Major. Our friend here showed me your sample. Suffice it to say. Not here. Let's talk somewhere more private. Elu said we could use the back. me the abridged version of what went down. Yeah, I can't thank you enough for taking care of all that. Makes two of us. I hope it ultimately didn't end up being too much trouble. That's... Well, that's certainly not what I was expecting you'd have to go through. But thank you. I'm just glad you both came through intact. So, were you two able to get that work up together? Got it right here. That sample? It's an exact match for the ones from Londinian. Londinian? That's... That's exactly what I was afraid of. Not thrilled to be the bearer of that kind of news. That's for damn sure. So tell me you've got some kind of plan for that workup. Well, right now, we've got more questions than answers. So I've been trying to figure out what it's going to take to access our old Terramorph data. Good place to start. What'd you find? It's in the archives. The Armistice Archives? Doesn't that mean we'd be dealing with the Cabinet? And the Freestar Collective? And House Varun somehow? Guess we can kiss that approach goodbye. I didn't think the Cabinet would be willing to hear us out either. But I called in some favors. They've agreed to hear us out on two conditions. One, they want to see this analysis you two have procured. And two, they want to discuss what happened on Tau Ceti. With both of us. Of course. You deserve the full story. Percival and I, we're not just researchers. We were military scientists, ran a division of the UC together that deployed aliens on the battlefield as weapons. Place I was hiding out. That was our unit's home base. After some early fits and starts at other facilities, the place eventually became the heart of UC Xeno warfare. A practice that's been banned ever since the Armistice went into effect almost 20 years ago. And the UC military cut us loose for what we'd done. Oh. Well... That, um... That means a lot. It's not something I'm exactly proud of. But it was during that assignment that the UC asked us to explore deploying Terramorphs on the battlefield. The project never got off the ground, but the data our team gathered is now sitting in the archives, along with all the other information banned after the Colony War. Under the watchful eye of monitors from all the galactic factions still participating in regular politics. But if we can convince the Cabinet to help us access that data, it'll give us the tools we need to decipher what exactly this sample might mean. And hopefully, how to prevent more attacks like the one that spawned it. I mean, I hope they will. But accessing the archives, it's not 100% up to them. They'll also need the consent of the other signatories of the Colony War Armistice, the Freestar Collective and House Varun, in order to unlock it. Since neither group is exactly on great terms with the UC at the moment, for various reasons. Exactly. 
It's going to mean negotiations and deals and plenty of diplomatic legwork to see this through. But I don't see a better option to solving what's going on here. So it's going to be up to us to get them on board. All right. I'm going to go get this work up into the cabinet's hands. I'll meet you out front of Mast in New Atlantis. Good luck. You two are going to need it.